Hi, hello, this is a new video and in this video I will mention gift authorship and uh, the problems that may accompany gift authorship. First of all, we should define what gift authorship is. It is basically um, giving, giving someone's name, writing someone's name without uh, seeing they made an effort. Uh, and then they they just add their name in the paper because they feel that in the future they will help them and in fact adding gift authorship actually is not very good for your career because i find that it's more prestigious at least author created one article because at that time you know who wrote who write, really write the article if there are 10 authors in the article you cannot know who really write and you, you don't know who really spend time on it, so it conf it's confusing. Let's read uh, this editorials on this topic. Not usually, but it devil is the coinage of <coughs> scientific publication indeed. The fruits of authorship are usually considered to be sweet. Authorship of a scientific paper leads to grants, jobs and reputations. This explains why many people accept the gift of authorship on papers to which they have contributed nothing intellectually. So that's why every author, I think, uh, to me, every author has to uh, confirm the final manuscript and besides they should add something or delete something, remove something to be mentioned as a co-author. And sometimes they, you know, I'm not, sometimes it can be only one paragraph or a small paragraph, but writing that small, par, you know, that there's a chance that that small paragraph is more important than the rest of the manuscript. So um, that's why the collaboration is also important, and you should, I, I encourage people to collaborate. Anyway, and as with all the presents, the givers often derive something too. They may use authorship to repay kindness in exchange for authorship of another paper or add commonly to credit their head of department and in so doing gain a stamp of authority on their work. So another thing, so they, they are like they give their paper and they expect them to give them a paper. In in some cases that can be acceptable if both work on the same topic and they can contribute and then they write it together and it it makes it better work. Uh, but in some cases they actually write them without doing anything and then they're in the paper uh, but they, they actually did nothing so and in such papers there are generally like if some people have such habits in some papers there are like 15 authors mentioned like what are they doing like is this a CERN, CERN experiment like, that's possible but I uh, find it suspicious and I don't really so if I see that they're listed like fifth author, sixth author, seventh author not a corresponding author then i will assume that they didn't do much work right so because there's a chance that they're just passing by and then uh but anyway um last week revolutions questioning the scientific validity of papers in british journal of Obstetri obstetrics and gynecology show how the gift can turn sour perhaps this scandal will finally undermine gift authorship so it says the full details of the case in at St. George's Hospital London have yet to emerge, but we know that an inquiry has found no evidence to support the findings of two papers written by Markholm Pierce and published in August issue of the British Journal of Obstetrics and Gynecology. Unfortunately, the editor of the journal, uh, professor is also a author of one of the papers. We know nothing about Professor Chamberlain's role in the work, but he was quoted. Um, they sometimes write their name hoping that they will give some um, authority and they, they, they're famous in their field. And uh, so that is very, indeed very important topic. And um, I think the worst thing is if the research is sloppily done, and it actually damages the scientific community. It is misleading research. So if some, something is natural, I think it's it's not that detrimental. Like there are some still, it's not good still. But if it is um, just uh, you know 
if it is the scientific information is incorrect and they're writing like famous author to increase the chances of acceptance then it is indeed very immoral so you know later they will accept this paper and then it will mislead them after 10 years what how they will see your paper so you should always think if you are telling the truth or not if you are honest or not and if you're telling a lot or not so also you should avoid the telling a lot in the article i guess so that's my opinion on this topic and thanks for watching this video i wish i hope this video is beneficial for you and see you bye bye